Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a sunny winter Australia. Color is beautiful, sun is setting. And I am doing a walking vlog. I'm doing test for you guys. I'm just on a little short handle stick made by Ulanzi. Also double as a battery. So it's got a power bank inside. Unfortunately, it doesn't really support the high uh, power um, cannons mirrorless requires as a power delivery so when the camera is on you have a normal battery it's not enough to power the camera and charging the battery so oh the, the, the eye doesn't support charging anyway so it's not possible for it to supply I think it require minimum USB power delivery 22 watts which is a 9 volt and 2.3 amps. I don't think this one can do. This one can only do 5 volts, 3 amps. For 5 or 3 amps, you get a 15 watts. So it can only power a dummy battery, which I demonstrated in my last complete vlogging setup gear video. It works. I'm so happy it works. So I bought two dummy batteries. I bought different adapters. Finally, it works. It's a little voltage adjuster, like adapter. So it changes from five volts to a 7.4, which is this camera operates on with a, via dummy battery and connect to this handle. This handle connected to the camera via small rig, little one, one axis tilting adapter. So I can tilt it. So I holding the handle in an angle and the camera still facing straight so there is one point to provide the pivoting and then we got this thing a wild lovelier well i always believe for a vlog a wild a lovelier is always better because you don't need a, a, a like a wireless go to system it's too complicated and it's not necessary for me i, I always prefer this wild one I tried a shotgun mic, but you know what? Actually, shotgun mic, even as small as a Rode Video Micro, which I used to use, still you need a wing jammer, like the dead cat stuff. If you put a dead cat on, which is a suspension, you definitely need to suspend it. If you put a, a, a raw naked shotgun, all you get is handling noise. You're touching camera, you're touching the battery handle, you get lots, lots of boom, 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 boom noise. This one, nothing at all, nothing like that. Oh, the sun is beaming into my eyes. The sun is beaming into my eyes. I supposed to go, I better go that way. I better go that way, yeah. That's a cinema vlog. HDRPQ cinema vlog. HDRPQ cinema vlog. Right, um, yeah, the difference is this one is very sleek, very small. That's the cheapest one actually made by Sony. Sony makes great microphone at affordable price. So this is a good example of it. It's, um, I think $50, it cost me about $50 and it works, it works. So during my test, it's, um, just below clipping. I just knock it off. Sorry for the noise. You might get handling noise. And because it's a, um, it's actually a stereo. So left and the right is kind of important or at least more important than mono. But I'm clipping in the middle of my chest. So it's almost the same volume anyway. But yeah, anyway, long story short, I think this is unbeatable. This is my favorite. This is small. Only after I handle this, I realized the, the decision I made not to go for a Panasonic S5X with a Sigma 16 to 28 F2.8 zoom lens and with a cage, that thing would be like double the weight of this. This thing, yes, it doesn't have IBIS. 
it does need a battery handle if I want to record really, really long video. But each of my episodes usually around about 10, 15, 20 minutes max. I think this battery is fine and I can charge it pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, I don't see a big problem. So we got battery handle, a tilting adapter, a um, stereo, stereo, how about the tone? The tone was good, eh? A stereo uh, lavalier, wild lavalier. The only thing is this thing only comes with one meter cable. That's why I bump it. Sorry for the noise. Um, yeah, other than that, I have a little mini tripod from newer on Amazon. So it, it's long, it's metal, it can open and it's pretty stable. So if I want to leave the whole thing on, on a table, I can do that. And the maximum I can be this far, which is enough, enough for what I do for the all intended purposes. The so next test, I'll do indoor test of this lovely. See if, but anyway, if I'm recording at my home studio, I'll be using way better microphone. I like the Line Audio CM4. I think that thing has very good sound, very full body sound, and it's way better than than this teeny thing. But anyway, yeah, this thing, I'm gonna travel with this. Next week, I'll be in Thailand, and then I'll test this thing to the fullest. And let's see how it performs. I'll be only carrying the 16 mil and the 50 mil. 50 mil mainly for photo, but I might do some videos. I'm not sure. I might do some and uh, See how it perform. I'm excited. I'm actually going back to pack my stuff. I'm heading to airport tonight. I will see you guys in the next episode. How is the audio? How is the stabilization? By the way, it's Canon R8 with digital enhanced step on. Canon R8 with digital enhanced step on. Cool. Yeah, do you need IBIS? Do you need to use an IS lens without the IBIS? The, the smallest, the cheapest and ultra wide angle IS lens would be probably the EF 16 to 35 F4 IS. It's a great lens, but still seven, 700 grams and then plus adapter. At that point, you, you might as well go with the RF 15 to 35 f 2.8. That one is much better, 800 grams and much better. But I'm happy, you know, little 16, it's, uh, it's very, very low profile, very small, you look very touristy, which is a good thing, you know? People don't, don't mind you as much. If you have a S5 2X and with a cage, a handle, People think you're professional, so their response will, wouldn't be as natural. And uh, well, some kids are riding bicycle. Hello. Neighbor kids. All right. So, yeah, as I'm heading back, I'm gonna pack the stuff. Put this in that little bag I showed in my last video. And I will see you next episode in Thailand. Bye for now. See you guys.